We're uh, in episode seven now, and we have the foam insulation. As you can see behind me, the, um, the top bit, that's all the polystyrene insulation. And I'm lucky enough to have a panel saw to cut everything on. So we're starting to cut all the inserts for the wall tonight just to get it going. I've spoken to the engineer this afternoon and hopefully we can organise for him to come out this week sometime to have a look and make sure everything's good. Uh, I've went out and bought a drum of glue to glue the insulation into the walls and the roof. And I'll just grab the glue here to show you. Right, you can read that. SC96 Blue. It's made by a company called Advanced Adhesives, and they're based in Windsor here, over in Western Sydney. And they make all different types of glues, but that one is specifically a water-based glue, and they have recommended it for use with polystyrene foam. So that is going to work out perfect. Now with this foam, it's extremely hard density, like crazy hard. So it's gonna work perfectly well. And we're cutting it just with a big table saw and it works quite well. So I'm gonna try and set the phone up to get a camera view and uh, yeah. Well, uh, we're in the bus and we're starting to put the foam in the walls. Uh, as you can see behind me, I've sprayed the blue glue on that panel there and I've inserted those two panels there. It's all sticking well and all the foam's fitting well. And um, yeah, we'll just keep moving forward and hopefully tonight we'll get most of the walls insulated. And we're back. Uh, just been busy over the last hour or so removing the little side rails that the seats bolted to. Had some pretty big rivets holding them in so I had to get the grinder out and grind all the heads off. And they're all gone, which means that I can continue putting the rest of the foam on the bottom of the walls now because there was the little lip overlapping so you couldn't just push the foam in and it wouldn't step over the top either so they're all out and we're about to stick most of the foam in for the walls now 
the rest of it. There's a few pieces that need to be shortened down. And from there, we shall move forward. The next stage in the insulation process will be to seal up any gaps in the roof uh, between the frame and the fiberglass where the previous silicon may have let go. So I've just gone out and I've bought some Sikaflex 
and we're going to go along with the gun and put all the uh, sick flex up. Then I shall get cutting for the foam that fits in the roof. Alright everyone, um, it's been a few weeks over the course of this whole insulation process in the bus. Uh, it's been extremely cold throughout the night so I haven't been able to, to get into the bus after work to, to do a bit of work. Uh, I've just finished putting the rest of the silicon up. Uh, I've used four and a half tubes just going over any of the joints that, um, that have let go from the, from the existing silicon. Uh, right now, as you can see, we're with the table saw again. Got another couple of sheets of foam to cut up. Uh, we're just doing a couple of runs on the roof today. So I thought we'll do another another video showing you the foam being cut uh, from a different angle. All right, well, let's get started. by 290 wide. Um, we need 16 of those, so just one more sheet and then we'll have enough foam for the other run. Uh, these are only for two runs. I need to try and work out a bit more plans for the wiring, so just trying to get as much done as I can without having any delays. So I'll cut up that, um, that last sheet and then we'll get in the bus and start gluing. Right guys, well, we're up to all the corners of the bus now, where it all arch, arches around. Um, I've just cut a whole bunch of uh, 64 and a half millimeter wide strips of foam, and I'll show you what they're for just over here. Uh, not too sure if it shows it on the camera, but yeah, you can sort of just see one join, two, three, four, so on and so forth. Um, what that is, is that's six, six, no, sorry, five strips of foam, and that creates the radius that we need. Just trying to emphasize how sharp that radius actually is. You can see that there. Anyway, um, I'm going to glue up and stick on all those pieces of foam tonight, hopefully. And that's just one more step of the foam insulating going. And then there isn't too much more after that, not for this episode anyway, because we've got to work out all the wiring and the lighting throughout the center section of the roof. So that will come later on in another episode. So we've made it to the end of episode 7, uh, the insulation is mostly complete and I have recently gone through a fair bit of effort with the um, expandable foam throughout all of the gaps here and behind this metal plate. I couldn't fit polystyrene behind there so I had to, I had to come up with another option. Besides that, as for the front section, you can see in the corner there and over that side there, I've had to use the, uh, the packing foam, which is only about 10 mil thick, and create the curve because it curves in two directions, not just the one. So that's done. Um, the channels 
uh, ready to run all the wiring through and then the insulation will go around all the wiring and the lights once that's all worked out. Uh, vacuumed the bus, it's nice and clean, ready for episode 8 which should be off the wiring and also I'm going to be tackling this back wall hopefully in the next episode. So I'll leave it with that, I hope you enjoyed it and keep an eye out for episode 8, thank you.